Today I'll show you an easy way to retouch skin in Affinity Photo. Let's get started. If you'd like to follow along with me, I've left a download link for today's image in the video description. We're going to use a technique to retouch the skin called frequency separation. To start this off, let's duplicate our background layer by pressing Command or Control J. With that duplicated layer selected, I'm going to go to the top of the screen to where it says Filters, then I'm going to press on Frequency Separation. Frequency separation separates the high and low frequency parts of your photo into two layers. The high frequency layer has all of the texture, while the low frequency layer has all of the color. You can see in the preview here what I mean. This high frequency side has all of the skin texture, while the low frequency side has all of the color. We can adjust how much texture is visible by adjusting the radius slider. Now you can see much more texture on the high frequency side, and the low frequency side just has blurry colors. I want to have a lot of texture on the high frequency side, but I do still want to retain a lot of the colors as well, so I think I'm just going to bring my radius to around 9 pixels. You can still see all of the texture on this side, and if you look at this side, all of the little bumps are much more fuzzy and you can only see their colors. That's exactly what we want. I'm going to press Apply, and now Affinity will separate the high and low frequency layers so that they're on their own individual layers. So what's the point of separating these layers? With the layers separate, we can clean up the high frequency texture first, ignoring the colors. Afterward, we can paint on the low frequency layer to smooth out all of those fuzzy colors. This will make more sense as we do it, but just know that painting the colors on the low frequency layer is super satisfying. I think you'll really like it. Let's start off by adjusting the high frequency layer. I'm going to turn off all of the other layers so that we can only see the high frequency layer. Then I'm going to grab the inpainting brush. And usually we change the setting to say current layer and below, but in this case, I'm only going to have it affect the current layer. We don't want the other layers to affect what we're painting. Then you can go ahead and paint over any of the blemishes that you see on this texture layer. In this image, one area that needs a lot of work is the forehead. There are quite a few bumps on it, but as we go ahead and inpaint, it's pretty easy to remove those little bumps. I like to make my brush about the same size as the blemish that I'm removing, so that I don't accidentally paint over too big of an area. It's nice to go over these areas without needing to worry about the colors. You only see the texture underneath, and I think that just makes it a lot easier to focus on what you're doing. You can also work a lot faster this way. Once you're done cleaning up all of the bumps, it's time for the fun part. We're going to paint on the low frequency layer. To do this, I'm going to select the low frequency layer, and I'm going to duplicate it by pressing Command or Control J. Then I'm going to turn off the high frequency layer, and now we can just see the fuzzy colors of our image. But you can still see some of the little bumps here. That's because bumps on skin can often be multiple colors, meaning that the texture of the skin is affected, but also the colors. So I'm going to grab the paintbrush tool, and I'm going to make sure I have 0% hardness and a nice low flow as I paint. Then we'll go ahead and start on this forehead area. I'll increase my brush size using the bracket keys. Then I'm going to hold down Alt or Option, and then I'll click on the area to sample the color. 
holding alt or option is going to be really useful as we go through this process because I'm going to try to sample multiple colors as I go. Normally, painting directly on the skin like this would be a bad idea because it will affect the texture. But because we have the texture layer as a separate layer, we don't actually need to worry about the texture being affected. Make sure you're sampling multiple colors as you go. Alright, that area looks a lot better. I'm going to turn the high frequency layer on, and then I'm going to turn off the layer we were just painting on so that you can see the before. And here's the after with that smoothing painting. So now you're starting to see the magic of frequency separation. We can paint all we want on this low frequency layer, and the texture will still look nice and natural. I'll turn off the high frequency layer again, and I'm going to continue this process of holding Alt or Option to sample colors, and then painting over the skin. The reason I like using such a low flow for my paintbrush is so that I don't accidentally apply too much of any one color, and I can have nice variety in the colors I'm painting. Another fun thing about frequency separation is you can sample lighter colors and then paint those lighter colors over areas like dark circles to smooth them out. So you can use your frequency separation layers to really smooth out any blemishes, but also you can use it to reshape the face or improve the lighting of the face. Be careful as you're painting not to paint over the edges of your subject too much, otherwise the paint will start to bleed out of the lines. Just make sure to try to stay within the lines or use a smaller paintbrush as you paint around the edges. Okay, and with that, now I'll turn back on the high frequency layer, and you can see the before and after of all of that low frequency painting. This is a super powerful technique, and I really love that you can keep all of the texture of the skin looking natural. With all of that done, I'll just turn off all of these layers so that you can see a complete before and after. And there we have it. Now you can beautifully and easily retouch skin in your photos. If you want to learn more about photo retouching, be sure to check out my retouching course in the video description. In Retouching 101, you'll learn so many techniques for blemish removal and lighting in portraits. Thanks for watching, my friends, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.